we were all sitting around a campsite, Steve's campsite at his house, and Steve and Chris had been in a band before, and they played these punk songs, some stuff. Chris, I totally think that Less Than Jake, Losing Streak is the best album of all time. Uh, no, Steve and I would have to disagree. I do believe that Dude Ranch by Blink-182 is the best album ever. Man, did you see Rachel today? She was so hot. Yeah, I hear that. Too bad I could never get a date with a girl like that. Yeah, but that's life. Really does suck we have all them songs written, and we just don't have a drummer to play them with. Yeah, that really sucks we don't have a drummer. Hey, you know what? PJ, why don't you just play the drums for us? Yeah, man, what do you say? Hell yeah! Hey, what are we going to call ourselves? How about the Berlin Project? Nah, I think that's already taken. Eh, that name sucks anyway. Why don't we call ourselves the Dirty Garbage Man? Yeah, Dirty Garbage Man, that's right. great! Yes, Dirty Garbage Man it is. Dirty Garbage Man! Hells yeah! I remember our friends were always supportive, and I think some of them were even there since like, since like our first practices. Man, I think back to July 9th, 1997. This is our high school. This is where Chris, Steve, and myself went to school. Behind me you have the ramps. That's how I get to class. Uh, I was pretty popular in high school, I like to think. My sign sucks. I played a couple sports. Oh man, he was the worst kid, you and Michael. I mean, uh, Steve. Steve, Steve. Oh, Bosley, yeah, he, oh, he was terrible, man. He was, he was like a girl, you know. Uh, I had a lot of friends. Steve Sobosley, as I remember, was just that quiet little nerd sitting in the back of the room. I was on a couple clubs. I was vice president of the senior class. So Steve tells us he was the editor of the paper for four years. Steve. Steve. Sobosley. Uh, Steve was never on the paper. I'm back in the gym where I wrestled for four years at Bell Vernon Area High School. Uh, it's really weird being back here. I haven't been here in years. I graduated like a couple years ago. Um, as you can see up there on the wall, uh, it's my 98 wrestling section champion. I'm pretty happy about that. Steve, that says uh, Steve Slobodnik. Not Slobodnik. Yeah, I never wrestled. And now I see that things don't always work out right. Not understand, but that's my A couple hey, times. Isn't that Steve from Geek Line? It's just weird watching old videos of ourselves. Like, uh, I think we used to wear like Hawaiian shirts at our shows, and I, I don't know. It was just really weird, like looking back at yourself and seeing how cheesy I, everyone was in the past. Did you say Steve was a bad student? I, well, honestly, I wouldn't know. I never had him in class. I mean, I used to see him, you know, hanging around the men's room and, you know, under the stairs and stuff. But. One thing that a lot of people don't know is that uh, we actually wrote uh, Bell Vernon Area High School's alma mater. What do you think of Chris Fathalos? Was he always a good student of yours? Is he uh, Anthony's cousin, Fathalos? Yeah, I believe that's him. All right, I know Anthony. 
It goes, Our alma mater will be true to thee, to valor and integrity. We pledge our loyalty. And it was cool because after we said loyalty, we had this little stop where we would all go like that. Chris. He told us you were his favorite teacher. Chris. Chris. He said he had you for English. No, I never, I never had. Uh... Then our hearts remain in steadfast love. And when we said steadfast love, like PJ did a double, double bass part right there. And I would kind of scream like, steadfast, like that, you know? Do you think he was a good student? You can check with guidance and look at his transcripts. I wouldn't know. I never had him. I, I, I... Our memory is not in vain. We uh, actually, I think for that part, we used to do like this little like just drum breakdown part. And then we would end on the harmony in vain. Like I would go, vain, and see if we go, vain. But if you were to say, would you say he was a good student? Well, if I were to say, I'd be lying because I've never had the boy. I, I don't know who he is. Doesn't I think say class of 82. Or yeah. Are you the class of '98? Yeah. Well, you know, we, you know, the harmony at the end on Vane, like Vane. Is uh, Crusoe still in the band? You should have saw this one time down at the pool. He dove in the water. You know, he swims like a rock. Dove in the water. Lost his gym shorts. We had to call security. They had to come and find his shorts for him. Slow Bosley. They called him Small Bosley after that. <laughs> it's true. Yep. So I'm you really mind. didn't rate this, Chris. So. No, nah, no, nah, we didn't write it. I mean, we could have. We could have. We could have written that. And just the fact that we could have, I, I mean, you know, I think that says a lot. I think that says a lot. You know, just do me a favor. Get that camera out of my face. I had enough of this interview.